So I wanted to do a quick video about my FPV gear, which fits into two uh, 12 litre crates. So I have these two boxes which can turn the back of the car and are ready for anything. So the first crate is the basic stuff. I've got the quadcopter. I've got the batteries in the LiPo sack. So I've got six batteries ready to go. I've got a LiPo monitor, which you plug in and it just gives you the percentage left on a battery, which is really useful to check if you don't accidentally uh, start using a battery that's empty. So that's, I think, very important. I've got the mains charger for the Mobius, so that I have that with me. Um, and I have my Attitude goggles, which are my primary goggles, ready to use. Uh, they have a battery uh, on them. And I have uh, a bag with bits and bobs. So I have uh, two sets of propellers. I have an Allen key, which I use to unscrew the prop nuts. I have a spare micro SD card for the Mobius in case I run out or there's a card issue. And I have a, some cable ties in case I break a cable tie and I need a new one. Uh, the other thing I've got in this bag with the battery, I also have uh, an, a, a spare, just a three cell with a JST plug on it. And I have an adapter so I can run my goggles off this battery if my primary battery runs out. So it hasn't doesn't happen very often. But just so that I don't, uh, I don't end up not being able to fly because the goggle batteries are flat, which would be annoying. So that's the first crate. The second crate. So I have my um, transmitter. It's the DX6 I'm using at the moment in a Turnagy case. I have the um, my spare set of goggles, which are teleporters. I have a my Celpro 4S, one of my Celpro 4S chargers for charging. Now this one I've got a parallel lead so I can charge two of the flight packs together. That's the two 3S connectors. And I also have a 2S connector on here so I can also charge my goggles. Um, either the, the, two, the, the, the sets that are on them are 2S or my spares which can charge on that connector so I can charge them. Um, I have the uh, both mains and car adapters for the charger so I can run from the car or from mains depending where I am. I have the locator which uh, I've talked about before which is a little location device that I can use to locate the quad if I get stuck in uh, undergrowth. I have a portasol gas soldering iron. I really love these little portasol Technics. It's just a little gas soldering iron. It heats up in a really quickly, 20 seconds or so and it's perfect for doing field repairs. And some solder. I have a set of forceps just for soldering old hot things. Um, I had a problem with goggle fogging back in the winter and someone suggested using this uh, Fog X which is I think made for motorbikes. But uh, So I've got some of this and I use Q-tips to put it on so I squirt a little tiny bit onto a Q-tip and then use that to wipe the inside of the goggle lens and I found that's been really good so I've not had any fogging issues since I started using that. I have a set of secateurs. If you're flying through undergrowth, often you need to clear a little bit to get through a small gap. I try not to do it, but it's so that I can do it if I have to. Uh, they're the anvil type, which I much prefer to the cross cut, crossover type, because they tend to spread out. These are much stronger. Uh, and lastly, I have my retrieval pole. Uh, I just started using, well, I, got, I haven't used it yet in anger, but I, I've had two recent issues where I've crashed into brambles and I had to crawl through them to get the quad back and it really stings. Uh, so I decided I needed to have something to get around that. Um, this is just a telescopic um, cheap fishing pole. I, I, this one was £1.99 from a beach shop but I have bought one in the past from the pound shop for uh, used as a flagpole for a windsock. And then it's just got an old uh, washing line around it so I can use this as a lasso to hook the quad out of undergrowth and if I can get within six or seven feet of it, even probably a bit further, it saves me having to crawl through brambles and nettles. So that uh, it works really well. I've tried it. Um, in fact, I'll just go out in the garden and I'll just do a quick demo of that to show you um, to see what. So, but that all fits in my crate, and uh, that's everything I need when I go flying. Hope that's useful. Right. So this is just a quick demo of the retrieval pole. So I've telescoped it out, and it's got a, a loop on the end to see with. So then if you imagine that uh, this is stuck in a tree, whoop, and that's nettles and brambles, so this is as close as I can get. So the idea is that I can loop this round a leg with the quadcopter, 
like that, and I can pull them with these tight, and then I can then get this back.